is up you guys this is gonna be a little bit different i'm actually going to be decluttering my closet i was watching marie kondo on the kanmari method or whatever she has like a series on netflix which really intrigued me but it also really freaking triggered me some of those episodes i was just like what the hell is wrong with people you know what i mean i don't have marie kondo hiding in the closet she's not gonna knock on my door anytime soon and to be honest i don't want to take everything out of this closet so i'm gonna do it in like a way that works for me and doesn't cause me like severe anxiety and stress so let's get started <coughs> We interrupt our program to bring you this important message. Hey guys, editing Vanessa from the future here. So, this video is sponsored by our friend Sad Poshmark. Okay, and I'll be talking about that a little bit later. Just a little bit later. Just hold on one second. But definitely, the link is in the description box. If you want to download it. And let's just, you know, continue with the video. So, as you guys can here. This is my closet. I'm gonna try this out. We'll see. We'll see how this goes. First step, okay, I have this jacket. I have this North Face jacket. To be honest, I'm holding it. It's a really, really good jacket, but it doesn't, like Marie Kondo said, it doesn't bring me joy anymore. So I'm going to just put it over here. And half of these things are honestly like brand freaking new, which is really sad, but I'm trying y'all. So this is a Nike zip hoodie it's cute but it doesn't bring me joy anymore so I'm, I'm gonna have to toss it it's actually dark outside too guys so th these are not gonna be good angles so I'm gonna just show you guys my closet this is how it looks there's stuff all the way in there there's stuff up here there's like exercise stuff in this box which some of it I really have haven't used at all we're just gonna focus on clothing a lot of that stuff I'm not sure what's in that honestly that case is for a gimbal there's like more clothes there's like undershirts and stuff I actually do use this stuff a lot and then down here we have a bunch of Nike boxes which well are we even surprised like let's be real oh I should get my little flashlight up in here what am I doing <laughs> this right here this pile this little container is where I have stuff that I've already like listed or in the process of listing I'm actually gonna be selling everything on Poshmark you guys if you aren't signed up for Poshmark It's the easiest way to sell your stuff. So if you guys are not familiar with Poshmark It's actually really really super easy The app is absolutely free you list your stuff and you can sell them They email you a little shipping label and that's that. Everything that I'm going to be taking out of this closet and showing you guys that I'm going to be getting rid of, I'll be listing on Poshmark. So if you guys are interested in any of that stuff, you guys can check it out there. Also, if you guys have a Poshmark account already and want me to like follow you guys so I can check out your closets because you know, your girl likes to shop. You know what I'm saying? Leave your Poshmark closet down in the comment section down below. This is going to be a long video, y'all. I got too much stuff. Lord, this is, um, honestly, I, this is really bad. First, when I was watching Marie Kondo do those little episodes, and when people were, like, freaking out and getting emotional, I was just like, girl, why are you getting emotional? It's just stuff, but now I'm, like, kind of getting emotional and stressed out, so I'm gonna bite my words, and I should mm. I understand now. I understand. <laughs> it's stressful. <laughs> this is too much junk. <sighs> okay, guys. So I had to take a break. I took out two things out of my closet and I was already getting stressed out. <laughs> But I think I probably should have started, I don't know, maybe not at 8.14 p.m. at night. That would have been probably more helpful. Day two. I actually decided to do the Marie Kondo Kanmari method on the weekend when I had a little bit more time. Because when I first tried it, like my first attempt, I was just triggered. No, no, no. Like it was the Virgo in me was just not having it. So, yeah, this is the result of taking everything out of my closet. It is a little bit crazy I'm not gonna lie this is a little bit much for one person <laughs> it is wow like I never ever thought that I had this much stuff I always felt like I didn't have that much stuff my closet is pretty much empty at this point you guys can see yeah look at that so obviously I didn't take out all of this other stuff because it's yeah that oh yeah we're not gonna worry about shoes just right now i don't know if i should do the pants because technically they should be in a dresser but because i don't have no space in my dresser <laughs> yeah maybe i should take these out okay let's do that <laughs> this huge ass pile of clothes we're gonna go one by one and do the whole thank slash let go situation that she was doing in those videos i'm going to try to do that it's like it's, it's just so much stuff and i 
I'm a little embarrassed. I'm a little embarrassed. Not gonna lie. I'm a little embarrassed. Yeah, let's do this. Let's do this. Let's go one by one. <laughs> Anthology. So there's going to be a little bit of method to the madness. This is going to be stuff that I'm going to be putting on Poshmark that I feel like is still in really good condition. I also have a bag here that I'm putting things in. So there's that. This over here is going to be a donation pile. And then this is also stuff that I'm going to be getting rid of. So there's so many jeans that just don't fit me. Anyways, I think they're like a size 8 and I am not a size 8 anymore, y'all. So then this pile over here, which is getting a little crazy, is the stuff that I'm keeping that sparks joy into my life. And we're still going through all of this. Oh my god, I'm stressed. <sighs> pile so far and then this stuff I still have to go through that pile is like my keep pile this is my sell pile this one I think I'm gonna sell as well but I just don't know because I mean they're still good but like would anyone really want them you know what I mean this is the donate pile this is how we're going again sell pile it's just a lot it's just a lot of stuff I didn't realize how much crap I had till now this is just bad Let me have that the our keep pile that we have to now put back in there and then this is our donate pile which I got a little bag and then this actually has to go in drawers after I put everything back in there I actually have to take everything out of these drawers and figure out the situation in, in these two bottom drawers because those two bottom drawers actually have all of like my leggings and my workout tops and 
So I'm not gonna lie, I'm kinda tired. I'm kinda tired of doing this. It's like a little bit of more energy out of me than I expected. But I'm going to actually put everything back in here and I actually want to color code. So I used to have everything color coded so I knew exactly where things were. So we're gonna do that. So it's pretty much all of my dark clothing is gonna be here and then we're gonna go, you know, all the way to white. So kinda like a rainbow effect, you know what I mean? <laughs> Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. You'll never have the sacred stone. <laughs> oh, this you crazy mother. closet and I color coordinated it see let's see here look how much space I have now which is kind of ridiculous but and then this stuff is not even like you know this much space so most of the whites or things with majority white in them are on this side and then as you can see then we like have our reds together some of our greens our blues this is like super OCD, but you know, whatever. And then over here, which the majority of my wardrobe is usually black, like my soul, but you know what I mean? Yeah, so we have this stuff over here. So it's really not a lot of tops anymore. And then this is everything else that just doesn't spark me joy anymore or just doesn't fit. So I'm going to be putting most of the stuff on Poshmark. It's a lot of stuff to put up on Poshmark all at once. That would take me days. One thing that I did notice, which is kind of funny, is that a lot of the stuff that I'm getting rid of that doesn't spark me joy anymore is actually like business professional clothing because I absolutely hated business professional clothing from the very beginning. Maybe I just need better suggestions on where to find like better fitting professional business casual clothing. If you guys have any suggestions, leave them in the comment section down below because I have noticed that now I have nothing to wear to work, so. <laughs> Start of my life. Let me know guys, help me out. This is literally the aftermath. I have so many more. These I'm actually keeping, but I have to put them back in like the little area that I had, but in like a better system. I have so many more hangers now. Wow. And Marie Kondo, where you at girl? Are you gonna pop up anytime soon to help me fold? Cause I need your assistance. So many dresses from like my clubbing days. Mm. <laughs> don't do that anymore so now that we've tackled the tops now we're gonna try to tackle the bottom so like the leggings the sweatpants the joggers oh and also the workout tops so we're gonna empty all those out and yeah let's let's do that this is gonna be our legging slash jogger situation clearly I can't even open and close this drawer properly as you guys can tell so I definitely need to start emptying this out now the t-shirts aren't too bad I think I might leave the t-shirts because I did do those a couple weeks ago so I think oh except these are pants hmm Bigger, better, stronger, power, power. These 
pretty much are going to be our keep pile and then I put them in piles of like joggers and like pants versus leggings and crops. This is gonna be post on Poshmark pile because they're actually like sellable and pretty much brand new. And then this is the donate. I only had like one to donate. So now I'm actually going to try to do that like Kanmari folding situation that she does, that Marie Kondo does. I'm gonna have to look at a couple images to try to figure that one out so that I can like line everything up so I can see it and use it. Let's do that. a short little sour patch kid break because i am crashing i need a little bit of sugar a little hint of sugar and there's not a lot in here anyways my snack because i'm tired there's a lot of crap y'all marie kondo is quaking right now i got too much stuff i have folded this stuff i still have to fold this little pile, baby. But then I have all this over here. Maybe I might Kanmari method in this little tube right here that I'm supposed to be selling. So maybe I should do that so I can fit more things in there because otherwise I have to like rehang them into my closet to make space. I do actually have this like extra cube from Ikea that I got. So I'm gonna try to figure out a way to kind of separate it. So like you have your joggers and stuff, but I'm not sure if I should do it like everything folded this way or everything folded this way, you know what I mean? I think this way might work a little better. So I can see everything because maybe I won't see everything in the back, you know what I mean? the drawer now i did put one of these little dividers to put these pants in because they're kind of like weirdly shaped and maybe my pants are just too thick but most of these are all leggings this is mainly joggers again this is mainly sweatpants and joggers looks better than before i know these aren't all my leggings though i have no idea where the rest of them are at what the hell so many hangers left that is insane how much stuff I am selling like over here too. So many hangers left. I am done, I guess, for the most part with the Kanmari method when it comes to cleaning it out and doing the drawers. The closet for the most part is pretty much done. I did put everything that I'm gonna be selling on Poshmark on one side. And then I think I'm gonna probably Kanmari that little bin to, so I can like take out stuff from the closet and shove it in there. If you guys like videos like this, don't forget to give the video a huge thumbs up don't forget to subscribe on your way out a huge shout out goes to liz to money at underscore 23 i see you thank you so much for checking out the channel and i'll see you guys in the next one peace